Old 98 Dustin. I'm here today out in Crystal Beach in Dustin, Florida, and I'm gonna take you guys on a beach walk this morning. Before we get started, check out Bliss Beach Rentals. I linked it in the description box of this video. So if you're looking for a vacation home or condo in the area for your next beach trip, go check out that website and we'll just get into the beach walk. So I'm starting on the street. We're just gonna walk over so you guys can see the neighborhood. Some people ask sometime. <laughs> if you have any questions about visiting Dustin, feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it for you. If you want to access um, the blog, um, so I write a, di a bunch of different blogs for a few websites. So check out fivestargolfrentals.com and go to the blog page on there. I write all the blogs for them. And then I also write all the blogs for blissbeachrentals.com and I link that in the description box. So if you, you can just go to the blog site or blog page on that website. And then I have a personal blog too called Authentically Linny. What is there fun to do over in St. Dustin? Um, there's a lot of fun things to do over there. You could check out this different stuff in Seascape, um, check out Baytown Wharf, um, which is a really cute little village type area that has a bunch of different shops and restaurants and um, it's on the water. It's really cute, so I recommend checking out Baytown Wharf if you're staying in St. Dustin. Um, you can also go play laser tag and stuff like that over at Thrills. There's an outlet mall pretty close by as well. Obviously the beach. I'm um, golfing too if you're going to San Dustin. Best time to visit is, I think, personally, October. Um, that really depends on your preference. Um, October is great because it's not too hot, but it's still warm enough to go swimming and do fun things outside. And a lot of the crowds are gone by October. Will the water be cold in October? I've got 
went swimming in October and it wasn't too cold. It was definitely colder than it is now, but not too cold to go swimming. It's, it's pretty hot right now. The water is like 90 degrees. The chairs for the public, um, they're not free, so you can rent them. Um, but a lot of times they're reserved for people already because they book them in advance. There's not condos where I am right now, just beach houses.
Nicholas Roberts. Um, I'm not sure what the average rent or average water and power bill for a two bedroom or whatever you ask. I don't know what they are with the average. I don't know that an the answer to your question. I recommend Googling it. Um, I don't even know what mine is because I don't have a two bedroom. So mine, I just, I mean, like it depends on whoever is using it. I guess how much ever electricity you want to use or water you want to use. So I can't give you an answer to that question. But I think Google would be a better resource. Sorry. However, if you are looking for homes in the area to purchase, I recommend checking out Five Star Real Estate. Um, great real estate agency in the area, and they've got tons of different homes all over. I don't know the average, sorry. I haven't asked every single person I know what they pay for their power and water. Where is the best, best place to stay for a vacay? Um, if you want to stay close to here, um, there's tons of beautiful vacation homes available. Like we passed by um, Turquoise by the Gulf on our way over. That was that really big Turquoise um, beach house we passed. That's a really great one. Um, another one that's really close by is called um, Sugar Shack and it's so cute. So check out Bliss Beach Rentals and 5stargolfrentals.com and check out the different homes in the area on there. I don't think that, I'm not going to tell my, how much I pay for my rent and water on here, sorry. <laughs> That's personal information. So we're done talking about this now. I recommend talking to a real estate agent in the area. I'm not a real estate agent. I'm just showing you guys the beach. So I don't feel comfortable giving you my financial information, or how much I pay for things. <laughs> Sorry. How long is the drive to Mobile? Um, it takes me about two hours to get to Mobile. Maybe a little, maybe like two hours, 15 minutes, or two, one hour, 45, depending on traffic.
Are the beaches packed during the day? Uh, it depends on the beach. Uh, this one will get pretty packed, I think. How hot is it? It's recently started to feel a little warmer. It was kind of chilly when I first came out. Um, looking at the what? Okay, 77 degrees right now. I think it was 71 when I started walking out here. So it's really um, heated up quickly. Um, and then there's a high of, let me see what the high is today. High of 89, so that cold front we had last week with nice 84 degree days is over. <laughs> What is the water on the beach? Um, it's just left over from a higher tide. So the tide retreated and it just left some. Where am I right now? I'm over in the Crystal Beach area. like swim practice out here today. <laughs> For the lifeguards, I think. That guy got a fish. Where is Crystal Beach in relation to Blue Mountain Beach? So a lot of this depends on traffic, but on a good traffic day, I could probably get to Blue Mountain Beach within like 30 or like 40 minutes. never see people like actually swimming like with their swim caps on and like for exercise at the beach so so calm this morning why not you know
Alright guys, that's all for this morning. I really hope you enjoyed watching this beach walk. Don't forget to check out Blue Beach Rentals if you're planning a trip to the area and you're looking for a home or condo to stay in. And I will see you guys again later. Bye!